How's it going, guys? This is Forensic Forks with Deontay, and I'm back with another video. This is your daily update on Australian dollar versus US dollar AU. And as we can see, yesterday we had a huge sell off, right? Price kicked right into a large range cycle and pulled us all the way back down to the monthly opening price. You can see here currently today on Thursday, we do have this small reaction, which wouldn't be a surprise because we went below discount and we would see a rejection off of that. However, Instead of trading higher, we did get to our target desired buy side liquidity pool here. But after targeting that buy side, look at how price reverts quickly. So we purge buy side and then we revert it right back down to sell side to this swing low here. So it switches the trend formula. So instead of a swing high being broken, a swing low was broken and that would equal bearish momentum. Now we're waiting for lower swing highs to form. So that's currently what we're looking for right now. Unless this is a false break. Remember, it's always two scenarios. It's either that price is going to get traders on the wrong side by printing a large candle or breaking a liquidity pool to a certain side and retail traders are more than likely going to chase that break instead of waiting for confirmation. Because a lot of traders, after seeing this short here, they probably go into Thursday thinking, oh, ultimate shorts are going to come in. Oh, the sky is falling. We're going to get another large candle to the downside. That may not be true. It could be true, but the odds of that happening, I wouldn't favor. And I wouldn't take the odds of trying to expect another large candle as this. Right, This is the largest candle we had in a while, honestly. Very large candle. I wouldn't expect another large candle like this to print. I would most likely expect some type of pullback or some type of stalling. So price pulls up and gives a small range cycle. Or it just refills and rebalances this entire sell side. It was only one side delivery here. It just sold all the way down. We want to see if we get delivery to the back side. So right back up. If we take a look at the DXY. Where am I going? There you go, DXY. We can see the inverse happen. So price did take out that sell side liquidity pool. That we were talking about and after taking out that sell side liquidity pool look what happens after it purges it there's a quick revert so price reverts back to breaking buy side liquidity pool and also this one up here so instead of getting lower swing highs now we just broke the swing highs we formed and price is trading higher so we would expect potentially maybe higher swing low comes into play and dollar picks up higher now currently now someone did bring this to my attention and i was also attentive to it but the bonds as well you see the bond yields are still going up you notice that the five year the two year the 10 year and the third year they just still have higher swing highs and higher swing lows and if that's the case that means dollars should continue going higher because those markets are directly correlated when bond yields go up dollar tends to increase in strength and the reason bond yields go up is because the interest rates are still higher and if the feds or fed chairman and his colleagues allow the markets to continue to be in a high inflation, sorry, high interest rate state, that means interest rates are going to continue to go higher. Yields are going to go higher. Not interest rates going higher, but yields going higher. Correction. Bond yields will continue going higher if the interest rate is higher. It's still at 5.5. We're still seeing a battle amongst all the central banks. Remember, all central banks still compete to have a vigorous fiat currency, right? A currency that's really depended on by citizens and if people can't depend on it and it's not reliable they're going to seek fiat currency elsewhere and a lot of people globally they seek refugees refugees they seek refuge into the dxy so everybody goes back into the dxy because it's a safe haven it's one of the more profound safe havens so you're going to see a lot of people go back into dollars when things start looking crazy around the world it's always going to go back to dollars 10 year right 30 year still going higher after breaking swing highs what happens you see a higher swing low swing high broken here what happens higher swing low again all the down candles down candle buying down candle there's no buying down candle large buying large buying you'll also see a lot of the yen crosses are most likely still going up so look uj definitely was going to break out Look how small the range is. You got to pay attention to things like this. Think about how the daily range is just consolidating. And it's not printing large candles like this or like this or like this. 
It's just small candles. That means sooner or later, this thing is going to pop. And it popped yesterday, large range. Now, could it pop up and then pop back down? Possibly. But right now, I would take the stance that, okay, maybe it's still bullish. It's going to continue to go higher. UJ is going to make record highs. Yen crosses are going to keep soaring. And then possibly, if that's the case, dollar is going to continue going up. And all the euro dollars like EU, AU, GU, NU, Swiss, Swiss franc, those are going to probably get weaker over time. Look at UCAD, still going up. NU might be a sign that it's going to continue to go short. It just broke a swing low as well. So we were comparing this to AU. They were all moving in sync together because we know they're directly correlated. If AU goes up, more than likely NU, GU, and EU are going to go up as well. If they go down, they're all going to go down together. And you can see they went down together. NU went down. GU went down. EU went down. NJ still looking to push higher. That's something I'm looking at personally on the side. We got a down candle. I told traders, if you're going to buy in a bullish trend, you buy after a down candle. So we could see price continue to go higher for NJ. This month too, last month was a small range cycle. This month I'm expecting it to be large. So let's see if it keeps pushing. AU, this is our current stance. So right now, before we end, we want to keep it clean. So we just broke a swing low. And we're waiting now for a higher swing low. So delete this. And we'll move this over here. Caution sign saying, yo, pay attention. This could be bearish momentum. Are we now going to get back down to these equal lows? Are we going to get down to that 20-day low here? If it goes to 20-day low, I think we will. Will we get down to this 40-day low? They have to look back low. I think we will too. It's a lot of relatively equal lows down here. So price is most likely going to target it to the downside. So it's good that we're seeing this so far, that we have liquidity pools and projections, and we have a change in trend. So be very attentive. You got to watch this thing day to day. Now, I know I didn't give a daily update yesterday, but still get there, be there. Just because I don't post doesn't mean you shouldn't be there. You know, be consistent too. Large move down. We shouldn't expect a large candle near term. We should expect a large candle probably within a week or two. A large candle is going to kick in. But I do want to see, do we get something like this? Pull back into some type of fair value gap and then go short again. And that's what I want to see. Hopefully you found this insightful. Peace.